Good morning, I'm Richard Hampson from Centenary Landscaping Supplies and today we're going to put together some demonstration videos. In this video, Chris and I are going to put together a timber retaining wall. Now remember, this is on level ground and if it's over one meter, you're going to have to check with your local council to see if you need approval and maybe engage the help of an engineer. So this will be for walls under one the meter The first thing high. that you're going to have to do is decide where your wall is going to go. Then, how high is it going to be? And then draw yourself a sketch so that you've got something to refer to as you're building the wall. Check out on your site, what's the drainage like? Are you going to get a lot of water from next door? And then put together a list of the materials you're going to need and refer to our tool video to see what you're going to okay, need. Okay, what we're going to do today, remembering that this is our cut that we've got to work to. So we have to allow for drainage off that cut to the back of the retaining wall. So we want about 100 to 150 millimetres from the face of our cut to the back of the retaining wall. So what we're using today, we're, we're going to be constructing two panels of retaining wall. The first panel here is going to be with these 150 mil diameter coppers logs. This panel here will be the 200 by 75 treated pine sleepers. So this log here, it's 125 millimetres diameter. So the 125 mil diameter of the log, plus about 125 to 150 of fill behind the wall. We want to be setting our posts up about 250, 270 mil off the face of the wall. So the first thing we have to do is we just have to get our two pegs and a string line and just set that up. put this hole right up against the wall there because for the demonstration we need to put our peg in the ground and otherwise if the hole was there we wouldn't be able to secure that string line so we've put our first hole about 500 mil out from the back cut this hole here is at 2.3 at the center and the center of this one was 4.6 the general rule of thumb is that if you have a retaining wall 800 mil out of the ground that you put your posts in 800 now mil we're deep. The point where we want to put our um, post in the ground. So we just need some concrete which we've just mixed up. And what ratio, Chris, have we mixed that? Uh, this has been mixed at four to one. So four parts concrete blend and one part cement. Four shovels of concrete blend, one shovel of cement. Um, you don't want the, you don't want too much water in your concrete. You just want enough to make it um, just as a, a firm consistency, not too not too wet, not too dry. So we just put um, a couple of shovels of concrete in the hole first. Okay, and then we'll just put this sleeper in. If you can grab the spirit level, please, Scott. Now, we just put that post in the ground like that. Now, we have to use our spirit level to get this, to get this post nice and vertical and square to that string line. So you might just need to make some little adjustments to get that spot on, but make sure you do them because it's, it's very important. At the end of the day, if these posts aren't straight, your wall is not going to look straight. Okay, so that's good there. And then we'll just put the spirit level on the, the edge as well, just to make sure that it's nice and straight. And we'll just concrete this post in now. It's best to do this job with two people. You, need, you, you really need to have these posts secure when you're putting the concrete in the hole. Some people may, if they're on their own, they can hold the post up and then use some other timber to support the post to make sure it's going to stay in place and then they, they can support it. So what we're going to do here, because this is where our log walls are going to meet, instead of using the 200 by 75 pine posts, we're going to use the logs for a post here. But I find it's, it's, it's stronger and it's a better look if you, if you line two of the logs up together. Okay, the best um, way I've found when you're concreting two posts together, it can be a bit tricky sometimes, so I find putting one post in first, and we use the same, the same as what we did with the rectangular posts, is just put one in and level it up to the string line, as it is, 
and then we'll just bring the other post over and we'll just place that in next to it and just eye that one off to make sure that it's pretty close to the first post and then you can just double check again same as when we set up the string line just always double check things are going to be where you want them to be Okay, that's good, and now we'll go through the same process as before and concrete these um, posts in the ground. Now once you've got these posts concreted in the ground, as I'm doing, just keep checking with your level, make sure they're right. And another good thing to do whenever you're doing these projects is always stand back and have a look from, you know, just to make sure by the eye they're right, and just have a look at things from different angles to make sure you're happy before you proceed any further.